Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome back to another Bayview Review. Today we're going to be talking about HNN Presents The Wicked Woods. But before I get into my review, I wanted to take the time to thank Bayview for sending me the screener to review for you guys. They have an awesome channel. They pretty much have something to fit every taste. I'm going to put the links to their Facebook page, their YouTube channel, and also their official website. And don't forget to check out their Roku channel. Just type in Bayview Films. Okay, The Wicked Woods is a 2014 film which runs about 75 minutes and it is written and directed by Lucio A. Rojas. Now he was responsible for apps and I know I had heard this guy's name before. He actually did a segment in a movie that I reviewed a little while ago called Ill, Final Contagion. He was also responsible for Trauma. Now this stars Catherine, my lawyer, as Laura. She was in a ton of TV and some films. Indigo, Yurutia, as Ruben. He was in TV and some shorts. And Daniel Antavillo as Ombre del Brasso. He was in The Prince, Apps, some TV, and some shorts. Now this movie is also known as Perfida, and it was made in Chile. Now this is a Spanish film, and you're going to have to read subtitles in order to watch this film. This has been one I've been wanting to see for a while. You have a couple. Laura and Rubens. Apparently they have known each other since they were kids. And they've been in love with each other since they were kids. Now Laura is already married and has two kids. She tells her husband that she's going to stay with a friend of theirs for the weekend. And her and Rubens meet in a cabin in the woods in order to, I guess, profess their love. They start hearing weird noises outside the cabin, and they start to investigate. Well, Rubens finds out there is a secret group of people living in the woods. And that's kind of where I have to leave it. I don't want to give anything away on the twist ending, this movie is done extremely well. The acting is first rate. Although, I don't know, the, the girl wasn't exactly a likable character because of what she was doing to her husband. And you kind of got the feeling that Rubens didn't have a lot of money, so she married her husband for money and had kids in order for security. But she's always loved Ruben. So, doesn't exactly make her a likable character. So she says she's going to leave her husband and that she's pregnant. Which makes her even more unlikable, in my opinion. But anyway, the acting is first rate, like I said. The direction is first rate. The cinematography is really well done. There's some really beautiful shots in this film. My con for the film, and it's kind of a big one. Um, the ending is very... I don't want to even say ambiguous, because you really can't take it several ways. It just kind of leaves you hanging. The audience, when we watch this film, are trying to understand why things are happening with this group in the woods. And none of it is explained. They go through a few things while they're in the cabin about some people being burned because they thought they were witches. But it doesn't really serve the ending. I guess I just needed more explanation. It's a decent watch. Like I said, it's done extremely well. I just think they could have done a little bit better on the ending. So, yeah, keep that in mind. And the horror is fairly light in this film, but 
it's definitely made up for by the acting and the cinematography, in my opinion. So check out The Wicked Woods, and another special thank you to Bayview, and if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Thank you.